So we're back with another haul portion, or maybe this is the beginning of the haul, girl. I don't know where we're at right now, but <clears throat> let's get into it because I have quite a few items here. I have two orders from Sadie Stickers. This one's a fat one. Um, then I have an order, two orders from Simply Watercolor Co. I have an order, my first ever order from Peony Papery. An order from Simply Gilded. And then an order from my new Stiction, Station Stickers, and Once More With Love. So let's go from smallest to biggest and open my Once More With Love order first. I usually place orders whenever Mark does new releases. Let me make sure my invoice isn't in here. So whenever she did some new releases, I went ahead and placed an order. <clears throat> so this is the current journaling card. It says, thank you. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for your support. Enjoy your goodies. XO Mark. And then it has a munchkin on the back. Very Valentine's Day feeling. Then these are the new releases. So the first one here is the Munchkin Emoji 2.0 Negatives. So these are super cute, very like negative emotions. I could definitely use those. And then you have the 3.0 positives. Then you have the crafting time ones, which are super cute. So you have like two larger ones and then some medium ones with some scripts. The cheeky tongue out, which are super, super cute. And then the success, munch, success munchkins, which whenever Marg showed me these, I was like, we need them in multicolor, which she did just release them in multicolor, but I'm going to wait until she has another new release because I didn't want to just order one sheet. Um, so that is my order from Once More Love. And then this is the little freebie here. This reminds me of Emily. Super cute. Love that. And the little video game is definitely a Nick. Wine time can also go for Nick too. I heart you could go for Nick too. And then this is me always. So super cute. That is my order from Once More With Love. She is on her own site now. She did do like a washi pre-order on her Etsy. So just follow her on Instagram. I don't know I'm trying to put that in there. Follow her on Instagram for more information. But she is one of my favorite shops. She is one of my favorite people um, in the whole wide world. Then I have an order in from, let's do Simply Gilded. <clears throat> So this is my order from Simply Gilded. I did just place an order for the confetti. She had a couple different releases this day, but this is the one that caught my eye. Or I think she did at least. Um, I love these like mixed metal confetti um, duo doohickey things. And this is a rose gold and pink foil. And then this is the confetti. There was a limited two, so I picked up two. Um, I probably will be keeping all four of these. Normally, I just keep the 15 millimeters. Um, I think it's because I'm not a huge fan of the 15 millimeter bow, but I like, I mean the 10 millimeter bow, but I like the 10 millimeter of the confetti. And then I also got, it's the same, oh wait, there's also silver in here too. So it's actually a trifoil. Um, it has like stars and hearts. Um, the stars are silver or hollow. Dang. The stars are hollow, and then the rose gold is, like, some stars, but also some, like, circle confetti pieces. And then the hearts are the pink foil. So it actually is a tri-metal. So we're calling it? I don't know. Then we have a bow seal. And then she came out with these note cards. I think they were with maybe her sister collab. Yeah, I think so. Um, these note cards. This was the little journaling card that came with my order. It has the little juniper bunnies, which are super, super cute. Love those. Love the pink. And then she came out with this note card collab, which I'm just using to use these as journaling cards. I love, I choose to love and to be loved. I am pure, um, love and light. My worth is priceless. I am sweet and strong and let go of what you have planned. Open yourself to the wonder that you await, that await you vastly beyond anything you could ever imagine on your own. Did I ever tell you guys I can't read? I if I can't read, I can't read out loud. It's like a thing, but it was my fear in high school. Now I just don't care. So that is my Simply Gilded order. Then... Moving on to another washi order. I do have some stuff from Simply Watercolor Co. I think she threw in a lot of this stuff. 
like these washies and then these two washies. I think I just ordered these three. I might have not even ordered. I thought I only ordered two. I thought one of them was sold out, but maybe she threw in the other one. But Jennifer's always throwing in extras to my order. So, th oh, and she did throw in extras here too. So she looks like she threw in, what is that foil? Like a red? I don't know what I ordered, TBH. I think I just ordered, in this order, I think I literally just ordered this and then she sent me all of this. So um, this order, she just released some deco dots and she did do a Harry Potter kind of themed one. So you have lightning bolts, the glasses, the Deathly Hallows in different sizes. Then you have one row of the little owls. And then this one is her Mickey head. So you have the open Mickey head and then the closed one. She also sent me a bunch of different, um, well, she sent me the Harry Potter ones and the gold stars. And then she sent me a bunch of different bow ones. So these ones are in pink, a like matte dark red, a like lilac -y purple, a really pretty blue. I'm actually probably going to put these in my, um, my wiggle binder. And then whenever I come out with wiggles that are similar in color, I can add these to them. That'd be a great idea, I think. Um, a, another purple one with different kinds of bows. This one is a, like a shattered glass hollow with hearts, bows, stars. This is a really great sampler. This is a foil basics in a pink. And then she also threw in these Mickey head um, headers, just super cute. So thank you for those. And then she also sent me some washi tapes, which my second order I did, like I said, I don't remember, I don't remember being able to order all three. I know I logged in like super late and none of the other ones were available, but I ordered these. I'm going to show you guys probably in gold. Gold might be the easiest to see, but these are super cute. I think they're possibly five millimeters. Yeah, I'm going to go with five millimeter. Um, and they're like little bows, kind of like the Simply Gilded five millimeter bow, but I think this was actually way smaller um, and it's on clear which is cool and it'll go great with my new planning style I think let's go ahead and open this these clear ones I mean all tapes are like hard to find the ends but these clear ones are especially hard okay so as you can see they are itty bitty tiny little bows I don't really know what to compare them to maybe like a simply gilded you guys know what the seal size is, right? They little. They really little. But they're super cute and I can't wait to use these tapes. It's probably one of my favorite clear tapes I've ever gotten, TBH. So I was most excited that this one wasn't sold out. But like, look how cute that is. I love it. I'm super into it. So probably, like I said, one of my favorite clear tapes that I've ever received. I just think it's super cute and super dainty, which I love. So those are the 5mm ones. And then she also sent me two of her pink ones. I'm not going to open these ones, but they are super cute. You can just kind of see what they are because they're pink. And then she also sent me these, which I am going to open up. It looks like she sent me hollow gold and then like a matte light gold. So I'm going to go ahead and open the gold. And this looks like a 15mm clear tape. And I think this is supposed to kind of be like her, <clears throat> like an overlay. Um, it's kind of like the one that I use from her over deco sometimes. So let me go ahead and open this. Definitely going to kill a nail here. Oh, cool. So I'm picking it up. So yeah. So it's just like a speckled kind of overlay on the clear tape, which is super cute. This would be great for layering over not, you know, how you do, like I do like the bow washi and then I do the other piece of washi from my like kit or something. And then I, I put the bow washi overlay on the 15 millimeter part and then like the kit washi on the bottom. This would be cool to put over the kit washi, I think. So she sent me the three of those. So thank you again, Jennifer, for those. I'm super excited to play around with them. Then next, I, uh, I have trash everywhere. Next, I have an order in from Station Stickers. She was doing these cool things that are like headers. They, I mean, they're pretty much headers. You can use them for whatever, but she was kind of um, advertising them to be 
habit tracker like headers like you could put this on your habit tracker I don't really have a kit near me yes I do um, so she was advertising it well I think she was kind of like thinking you can put it here like that on top see the workout through on there like so or as like a header for this um i was thinking of it for the habit tracker and then just kind of that one's kind of cool um and just kind of like having it as just like a header for like even a half box like i'll show you guys so she had some that were standard and then you could also get custom ones so i did get ones that say workout i'm actually joining a gym next week maybe the week that you're watching this actually um, so I got one in silver and one in gold um, and then I got this week in silver rose gold gold and hollow and then I got meal plan in um, rose gold silver gold and hollow those are all standard and then the custom ones I got are routine so rose gold gold silver and hollow and then I got one that says Bubba News, which I thought would be really funny. But I thought this would be cute to mark, like, Bennett's, like, milestones almost. So, like, anything that's new, I could just put this, like, on top of the half box and just write, like, um, a new tooth, like, broke or something. Or, like, slept in his own bed or tried a new food or something like that. But I thought this would be really cute. So, I got all of those in this order. So that is my order from Station Stickers. I believe she still has those available. Then I have, well actually let me show you guys because that's kind of a bigger order. I do have my first order in from Peony's Papery. So oh, this is so cute, this little clip here. I'm probably going to have to save that. But she wrote me a little note that says, I hope you enjoy these. She did add in, I think these three as extra, these two as extras for me. I think I'm pretty sure I ordered this one. Um, but I've never ordered from her before. Um, I think she was on maternity leave whenever I found out about her. Um, and then I just kind of forgot. And then I saw these hollow bows being released. And I was like, I definitely need these. These are a lot more like soft than I thought they would be, which I kind of really like. Um, so the ones she sent me are these two. So she asked me on Instagram what my metal color of choice was. So I said gold. So she sent me this really pretty um pink one they're super cute I like how they're kind of not like perfect like see this one here this light like this longer I really like that I like like the imperfect look um so this is like a really pretty metallic silver and that's metallic pink and then also a metallic purple and then I also did pick up this one because I thought this could go with literally anything the white bow um which again they're just so soft and like they're just pretty like I like how soft they are they're just I just want to touch them so it is a white bow with the black clip and then this was a little trio set I was just gonna get the two clips but I was like might as well just get the um little charm as well even though I don't have a ton of planners that have um like a string but I thought that this would look beautiful these three would look amazing in my Pele studio that I have that just said gifted to me so I decided to pick up this set and use those in there um so that was my first ever order from Kini's Capri and definitely won't be my last then I placed an order with Lauren of my newest addiction. I'm pretty sure her name is Lauren. <laughs> That'd be terrible if it wasn't. So this is her little journaling card here. So it says you're like really pretty with some lashes and then it says my newest addiction or MNA in the back. It did come, I ordered a lot. So I had been stalking her site and she had released these clear strips, clear strips, clear scripts, clear, blah, 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 blah. clear scripts that were in collab with Jesenia, which you guys know, obsessed with Jesenia. Um, this is the freebie, by the way. Um, she released these clear scripts. That's hard to say, clear scripts. And I just picked up a couple, um, like literally like, okay, so I picked up like 12 probably before, which is a couple for me. And I went to order again when I got them because I was like, yes, need more. And she was only offering them in like marble and pink. And I... If you guys can't tell, if you guys don't know, I like my foil stickers with clear backgrounds. Anytime somebody has like foil stickers that are on white paper, I'm like, eh, don't really love it. Unless it's like a date cover or something like that. But I saw 
I saw that she restocked them in clear and I was like, well, I need to buy 100,000 of them now. So I got some of the date night ones. So I got them in gold, silver, and rose gold. I got three of the gold, three of the silver, and three in one of the rose gold. These are in Jasenia of the Planner Sophisticates handwriting. Then I got the day off ones, which I I um I kind of like when I was putting them in my card, I was like thinking more of like Bennett in school in the future. Or no, there's a no school one, right? Yeah, okay, never mind. So day off I'm going to use for whenever I have my days off. So again, three in gold, three in silver, and one in rose gold. And then I got more of the happy birthday ones. I got them in rose gold. I don't think I purchased them in rose gold before. So I got two in rose gold because I really like these. I like the size of them. Um, then I got the no school ones for whenever Bennett's in school, you know, in like four years. Um, but I figured, oops, um, I figured, you know, when in Rome just get no school stickers for your kid that's not gonna be in school for like years I guess I didn't pick this one up in rose gold but that's okay because I mean realistically I don't use a ton of rose gold then I picked up one of her pink ones in date night just because I wanted to see kind of what her pink foil would look like I was I always wonder if like people's pink foil look like looks like my rose gold but they usually always are like hot pink so I just save them for like a wiggle that's pink then I picked up a thousand of the work ones because I love these I'm probably gonna use these for work every week just because I love the way it looks um especially in a quarter box I think it fills it up nicely without being too big without being too small so I did pick up a thousand in silver a thousand in gold and then just two in the rose gold these are so beautiful I love Jessenia's handwriting so much y'all know and then I got the workout which I probably should have got more of these um but if I use them then I'll just buy more so I got them in silver, rose gold, and gold. So love those from my newest addiction in collab with Planner Sophisticate. Then I got in two orders from Sadie's Stickers, which I have a problem with Sadie's Stickers. I was actually like, I, with all my open orders at one point, I was like, I could probably do a full on one hour haul of just Sadie's Stickers stuff because like, I'm nuts. So I think there's, there's two orders here. So this is my first order. Not my first, my hundredth, but you know, the first of the, the uh, orders. So this is actually not on clear paper. And these are scalloped, like they're sized to the bottom washi kind of thing. I feel like the foiling isn't like the, I don't want to say not the greatest, but it's definitely like different on the premium at paper. I'm assuming it's just like a little bit harder to foil on, but I do think that it'll look really good once I like actually peel them off off of the white paper and put them over some washi or something like that. They look really, really cool. So you do get two kind of sets for your bottom washi and then you get some header overlays, which are really awesome. So I did get three in the gold, three in the silver, and then one in the rose gold. And then the real shining star was these um, little like flecky type things. They're kind of like star... Like, not your traditional five-point star, but, like, really cool, like, abstract-looking stars. So I got a bunch of these. They're a little bit bigger than the deco that I normally use, but I actually really like some of the bigger ones because then I can mix them in with smaller kind of deco bits and kind of it gives it a little bit more dimension, I think. So I was really excited um, that these were bigger than I thought they would be. You know, you think you'd want them to be what you think they are, but I actually really like that they're bigger because I think it's going to be a cool contrast to some of the smaller pieces that I have. And then these are little bows. As I was saying before, my camera cut me off. I got these little bow ones. They have the two different bows. Um, this is kind of like a newer bow. I haven't seen this one very much before, but this is kind of her classic bow. And I think these are actually a little bit smaller than the like full sheets of just like the circle cut out bows like that. So I think again, that'll be a cool contrast. And then there is the little other bow in between. So you have them in rose gold, silver, and gold. There were a bunch of freebies, I believe, in that order. So there were three of these header over yeah glitter header type overlays and then some vinyl um little sheet little stickers here they're like the vinyl headers and then my second order which is the creme de la creme oh this is this is my favorite i don't remember where i asked her i don't remember if i dm'd her or it was in like some kind of conversation but i was like when are you bringing these back these like corner overlays and then these full box overlays i love them to pieces they're my favorite thing ever so let me show you guys these first so y'all can tell i got a problem but like i'm not mad about it but wait i think that there was actually like an order i placed that was bigger than this or maybe this was the big order i don't know but again, I have a problem. So I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. 
sounded like a good number. So I ordered 10 of the rose gold ones. I think I ordered 10 of the gold ones as well. Don't know why I ordered 10 of the rose gold and then 10 of the rest of them, but... And then I ordered 10 of the silver. These are the ones with the box with the little bow in the center. That are Bennett crying. He's sleeping in his own bed for the first time tonight, which is weird. Um, and then I did order, I believe, 10 of each of these as well. So these are the ones with the bows in all four corners, which are super cute. I kind of like combining you know maybe two of these two of these and then filling out the rest of them with the corners um i think it gives it like a look without being like one of these in every box but it still kind of ties it all in or you could do like maybe one of these one of these two boxes with these and then just add a couple of those um bows from here along some of the other boxes if you kind of wanted to be a little bit more conservative i know I'm like, how to be conservative with stickers here, guys. I'm just crazy. So I got 10 of those in gold. I probably just did the all three because I'm just like, whatever. Sometimes I'm just like, I don't want to click add to all of them. So I'm just like, add all three, you know. So we got some first world sticker problems here. And then the rose gold ones needed those. And then I also picked up some of her smaller sheets. I believe that those were just like regular possibly. And then these were like a $2 Tuesday. Um... Nick just texted me. Um, so these are the corners. So I got three in gold, three in silver, three in rose gold, and then I also got some of these, which are her. I don't really know what to do with these, but I have a bunch of them. These are like banners. I'm prob I'm sure I could find something to do with them, especially in my new style of planning. Uh, maybe over a glitter header or something like that on the sidebar or. Um, I just don't know how they look on a full box, but I'm definitely going to test it out maybe on like a full box that I'm not going to use. But these are super cute and you get a ton of them on here, which are again on here like you get a lot of bang for your buck with these corners, especially like full box coverage wise. Uh, here you get a ton too, which is super awesome. These actually might look super cute on a fancy label. Let me actually just do a little... I'm probably not going to use the glitter ones on here, so let's actually do a little... We're going to use a rose gold one because realistically... Let's be real here. Let's see. Sorry if my head's in the shot. I don't know how these are cut, so. Um, I put that on crooked, but if not, that would be a little cute. Look at that. Hold on. That's cute. Excuse my cuticles, but that's, okay, that's how I'm probably going to use them. Kind of wish you'd come out maybe with just a single line, and then you could, like, match it up to the bottom. Wouldn't that be so cute? If you're watching Sadie's stickers, that'd be cute. Just like lines and then you could put the line down here. That'd be perfect. I love this. I'm going to send a picture of it to Jessica when I'm done. Um, and then I have a bunch of her date numbers. I do have date numbers in my shop. But I don't remember if hers are serif and mine's are sans serif. Or these are sans serif and mine are serif. So what that means pretty much is, is hers have like the little like kind of like the Times New Roman type. Like you know what I mean? Like it has the little flicks on them. Instead of mine are just like chunky blocks but I thought these would kind of look cute in like prettier spreads and more dainty spreads um just kind of when I want to switch it up a little bit so I did get four in the gold four in the silver and then four in the rose gold as well um these are really cute and like I said sometimes I like switching up the fonts um let me, let me show you guys the difference where are my not this one it's the other one show you guys what the, what the difference is So you see what I'm saying? These match like the fonts in my kits, but these wouldn't look terrible. So I think that, you know, it kind of gives it a different feel. Um, like I feel like these would look really cool with like fun summer ones and just kind of anytime. And then these look super, super pretty with like levy kits. I don't know why, but like fonts are like, they have special meanings to me. So that's everything in this haul. I hope you guys liked it all. I've been saving it for about four days, which seemed like forever whenever you have Happy Meal sitting there that you want to play with. But I hope you guys like it and there'll be another part or this may be the end, I don't know. Probably gonna go ahead and slip this in the middle of the hall somewhere, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys um, these two orders that I got in. This is kind of like a bulky, so I figured um, I would just get it out of the way. Um, 
and put it away because otherwise I have to keep all this stuff at, like separate. My allergies are really acting up, so these bright lights are like killing me. So the first, well, actually I'll go through these first since they're kind of taking up a lot of space. So I did order four. Thinking about this, I probably should have opened it prior. I just need scissors. Um, I ordered four of the Happy Scrappy albums. I'm super excited about these. I kind of like, I have like mixed love for these. Like I love the quality. I love the designs. Um, but I just feel like if you put something in every pocket, unless it's a single sheet, they get so full so fast. Y'all know what I mean? Like I love everything about them, but I just feel like they get so chunky. If you have like more than one, like if you have a kit, which is only like, you know, eight sheets, nine sheets of stickers, nine sheets of their mind. Um, even if it's like six sheets, like they'll get so fat that you can't do anything with them. Um, I did get a couple of the small ones. Honestly, at this point, some of this is just for decoration. Um, I mean, but I'll probably also use them. It's honestly, I'm going to be real. For me, with these, it's a lot of FOMO. This one's so cute. Love that one. And then there's one more, and I'll show you all of them and the extras that came with them. So yeah, so I have like mixed feelings about them because I feel like mine just get so chunky so fast. Um, I think it's, I wish the kind, I think I wish the spine was bigger. Even if it was like a half an inch, I feel like that would be like the world. Oh my God, this is so pretty. So I did pick up one of the collab albums. I do have this one, which actually the colors look totally different, which is kind of cool. You can see the difference. This one's more like aqua and this one's more blue. This was kind of like, she printed me these ones and then these ones here. These are on her like, I think she just like prints them herself. And then I think the other ones are like printed elsewhere maybe. I don't know the whole details. But these were like, I guess we'll call them limited runs. And then these were like mass runs. So this, those just have like sparkly overlays, whereas this one's like, high quality foiled really really beautiful um this one has hollow um she tends to do a lot of hollow um but it looks super cute so you have stars fireworks outlines have like the hollow on them and this is like the collab with jessica's drawings on it then there's this one here which these are well actually let's go for the jumbo ones first so these are her jumbo ones these will fit like large sticker sheets along with kits this one is a fox and pip collab with hollow Super cute. I kind of wish she did this one gold. I think that all she did was hollow and rose gold. But again, super cute. Then you have small albums. So these ones fit like smaller sheets and things like that. They won't fit kits. Um, and this one is a Once More With Love album. And then I also did get the other Fox and Pip album. This is a Celestial one. Super cute. I've actually, I think these are like the newer quality smaller albums, which is really cool. I only have the like older quality ones, which they're still nice, but they're not like as good of quality like the pockets and things like that so that was my oh and then there was some extra so there's this big sheet of like champagne bronzy gold um harry potter cat mug seals there's a lot of things going on here but these are super cute and then i also got this little pack of freebies this is freebies for you put a sticker on the back and then in here Looks like there is a little vellum avocado dog, a little die cut, and then a little sticker sheet here as well. So that's my whole order from Happy Scrappy. Again, I'm not like, I feel like I'm just buying them for FOMO at this point because let me show you guys what it looks like if you have a kid in every, every sleeve. Actually, I don't have a kid in every sleeve, but they thick. It just like, look at it. She thick. Um, I feel like if you had like a smaller collection you wanted to store in there it would work perfectly. Um, or if you have like less items or just like you want to do single sheets that works really well. Then I have this order in from Simply Yona. This is the All the Bows collection. Um, so this is super cute. I wish I had like a purpose for this. Like I don't just keep things just to hoard but this is really cute. Like I would keep it but that's okay. Then um, this was one of the um, releases for this day. She had a couple different releases. Oh my god, I didn't realize there was just so much washi in here. Um, I think I'm like low key like limiting my washi just because I did declutter my washi. Um, 
because I have so much of it that it's kind of almost like a little ridiculous so I've been only buying like really specific items um, and I didn't get the unicorn one but I got this one because I thought this was really really cute so I did get the all the bows collection that's what this is so it does come with a journaling card which I loved the champagne gold and like some of these are hot gold maybe it is hot no there's like Okay, it's like mixed metal. I thought it was all gold, um, like champagne gold. But this is a really pretty book, I'm um, not bookmark. Journaling card, probably my favorite bookmark I have from Simply Gilded. Then she has this here, which is a champagne gold bow sticky notes, which I love. And then there is the pink and gold um, bow keychain. Let me zoom you guys in, I'm sorry. There is a little pouch, this one's really cute. Um, I like that it's like the jean looking material. It's like... I can't think of what the word is for it, but there's a different word. And then there is a little charm on the bag that's just a little pink bow that you could take off. And then the inside has like a peachy pink stripe, which is super cute. So that is the bag itself. And then there are a bunch of different foil colored. So weird. Okay. So there's a bunch of different washies so you have this one which kind of looks like the papery factory one almost um probably gonna keep this one so I'll open it so this one is like a pink and orange with a rose gold more of like a bronzy coppery I'm gonna say copper copper rose gold color I would say it's copper so that is the first one that one is really pretty um, then there's this one is the only one in champagne gold so this has like that blue like denim color with champagne bows um, with a like white looking heart in the background let's see this one rolled out that one's pretty cute um, and then I haven't been keeping the 10 millimeters um, I put them in like a giveaway pile, so I'm not going to keep those ones, um, but there was the silver, there is the pink and white polka dots with silver, which I feel like this one is very universal. You could use it in a lot of different instances. So this is silver. I feel like I have something similar to this, but it might be like hearts instead of polka dots. Super cute, and like I said, I'm not, I'm not keeping any of the... 10 millimeters now and then there's this floral one um, which I'll kind of debate on if I want to keep or not and then there is the pink with the hot gold which I don't really use hot gold very often it doesn't really match my like spreads as far as like I don't use like hot gold my like gold foil isn't like this hot let me see if I have some of my gold foil to show you here this is gonna be a mess but mine's more of like a champagne gold. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, it kind of matches more to the champagne than the hot. So I don't even know if I'm going to keep this one. Plus I'll see if I have one that's similar to it. And then there is the, um, the I think these are five millimeter and they have four in here. It looks like there's the pink with the hot gold, which I do keep the I don't even actually know if I'll keep that. I, I kind of like, these are the ones that I like hoard all of them, even if I don't plan on using them just because they're so small and I think they're cute all lined up. But there is, it looks like this one is the hot gold and it looks like the rest of these are champagne, which I love. I love champagne gold, so those are super cute. So that is everything which you guys might, I, I used to be like, oh my goodness, don't waste Simply Gilded Washi. But... There's so much in the roll. I used to like message Kirsten and be like, or not Kirsten, I think it was Jessica, and be like, why are you wasting so much Simply Gilded when you cut them off? Um, it was funny, but um, yeah, I don't care. So that is everything that I got from Simply Gilded. Super cute, and I love the whole, all the bows theme. I think that my favorite things are actually the post-its and the journaling card. They're super, super cute. So that's everything for this little portion of the haul. Haul part number who even knows. So I have an order from Long Time and Million, a small order, order from Pop, Fox and Pip, and I also have an order in from Kane of Print Pressure, which I am super, super excited about. So let's go ahead and open this up. So I did place an order, I don't know what this, it's going to be January, I'm not totally sure. 
um he does a like monthly not like a subscription but you just like buy it a monthly like kit i guess um i saw it said sugar and i'm so used to the um the foxy fix sugar is white so i thought it was gonna be white but his white is called snow um so that was my oops but this is a super cute um it's kind of like a shiny glossy leather you guys can see there and it's kind of like a taupe kind of taupe stone slate color a little bit warmer tone so this is his b6 rings i like how big the rings are which is really nice um and his is all vegan leather super nice um just love everything about this and kane he's one of my faves um i did get the full kit um his kits have been looking fantastic i haven't purchased one in a while but he's done a ton of updating to his kit so i'm gonna go ahead and go through them so you do get a coupon in the um in the order for i think it's like 15 percent off with annie plans printables he's one of annie's um verified printers so let's go ahead and look at this kit so it's kind of winter themed i already did my winter setup this year um but i might save this for next year so you do get three specialty papers so this one here um this matches the um um BFF in the City art that I used. So this is a acetate, so with snowflakes and little um, mugs on it, super cute. Then there is a foil acetate, which has dots and his signature bow in gold. And then there is a vellum that has the same pattern in gold as well. I really like the gold. He picked it's kind of like a more like champagne gold. Then there are papers, which, it looks like all of them are different so these are like the same pattern but one's like zoomed in and one zoomed out and then you have more of like decorative clip art backgrounds and then there is this one which is another plaid some hats and some snowflakes some pink snowflakes and then the other plaid i believe zoomed out so those are the papers then we do have a insert this looks like a b6 possibly insert This is a B6, oh no wait, oh so you can punch them, so it's a B6, okay, because the, the spread, the, um, ugh, the TN, the ring planner, I don't know, is a T, a, huh? oh my goodness, the planner is a B6, so I'm assuming this is B6 size, and it is from Annie, so it's super cute, very simple, three columns, um, one has lines, one's grid, and then one has check boxes, the paper feels super nice, so you can buy Annie's. Um, principles from him and he's like an authorized seller it's a very very buttery and soft paper um then also in the kit you do get a bow charm with a little lobster clasp there pink and gold there are some pen loops which i'm assuming are adhesive yeah so they have an adhesive backing and it's nice because they kind of match a lot of different setups because they're neutral colors and then you have three washi tapes it looks like one is foiled uh no two are foiled one is just the like this pattern here but like a more gray tone this one's like this exact pattern with some bows all over it and then this one is a clear tape which i'm the most excited about obviously Let me open this super cute okay let me see so if you guys can hear the dryer in the background, I'm actually going to be moving my filming setup to work once we move, so you'll hear less noises in the background, I think. Oh, this is cool. It kind of feels like almost more of a scotch tape versus some of the other like clear tapes. You can see it's kind of like more frosted, which I kind of like. So that's super cute. I like that. And it has like kind of the feel of like a scotch tape, which is kind of cool. A lot of the other ones kind of feel like my sticker paper, like the clear. And it's like thicker this is very like thin but this will look so cute especially on presents i kind of like kate if you want to just sell these like individually in shop i would buy a bazillion of them so that is his like little tn kit and then the tn that i purchased with it i'm actually kind of like on the a6 train right now um but i was on the b6 train so that's why i bought that one then i have an order in from um cynthia of wonton and a million she did come out with these keychains which are super cute um, I have the big plushies, and she went ahead and did little small, it's so funny, it's got the little steamy 
tattoo. Um, little keychains are super cute. I might actually just cut off this and give these to Bennett to play with because um, they are super cute. Um, they're really soft and adorable. So love those. And then my order came in this little card which actually has changed. So it says introducing steamy zodiac cats and it talks about um, being near the pig on the back. Um, and then there's different like the years of I think mine is possibly the year of the yes yeah, the year of the monkey so fun active lighthearted and competitive super cute then here is my order so I did place kind of a bigger order I guess so you do get a little freebie in your order so this one says plushy keychains which did come out um, St. Patrick's Day stickers and go for a washi. I don't think that's come out yet. Happy Easter and bubble tea collection, which is gonna be super cute. I know a lot of people are gonna go crazy over that. Uh, then there are some vinyl die cuts, which are super, super cute. They're adorable. Kind of feels the same as her sticker paper, if you're familiar with that, but these are so cute. You could totally laminate these, put them in a pocket, or I might honestly just put like a st one of them in my planner because I thought they were really cute. So I did buy two of them. I would recommend to purchasing two. Then place an order for some of her stickers, of course. So she came out with some new releases on her amazing buttery paper. Sorry, my nails aren't painted, but you know, life. Um, so this one is Squad Goals, which is super cute. So you have this really long one, which is adorable. I don't have that many friends, you know, but it's so cute. I like the, like, kind of duo ones better. Then you have the date night ones, which are super cute. The fighting ones, which I actually use one for today. And then um, Galatine, which is cute little friends ones. I got two of those. Um, books are a uniquely... Portable Magic. So a books one. And then a cleaning one. really cute. I like this one with the plunger and the little clothespin. I never go near a plunger, but it's super cute. Then I did purchase some foiled stickers. So these are on her... Wait, what did I do here? These are on um, clear paper, which is really cool. I prefer clear paper to white paper, as you guys may or may not know. Um, so when I saw that she was coming out with clear... Um, wonton sticker like emoji stickers I was like yes I need four sheets because I most likely use these more so than the other ones that I purchased um I don't try to look at the paper it's a little bit more foggy because it is more of a matte finish like her stickers you'll kind of feel this and feel her stickers and they do feel very similar um so I did pick up four of the gold ones which do match my gold and then also the rose gold ones which do also match my rose gold if you're into like matching the foil colors um then I also picked up four of the silver which of course match my silver and then also she did some hollow ones so these are super cute as well I don't use hollow as much but I do see myself using hollow a little bit more recently, so I decided to pick those up as well. So that was my order from Wonton and Million, and I'm very excited about those. Then I have a small order from Foxy Pip. I haven't placed Foxy Pip order in quite a while. Usually I just purchase whenever she has her vinyls up. <clears throat> but um, I saw she was doing some foiled stickers. So she is doing, I think, possibly Sam of Happy Scrappy doing these for I don't remember what what was going on but um that's what the, like the paper looks like the ones that Annie gave away so um these are super cute so they are the Fox and Pip bow stellation so I thought these would be really cute to kind of put over full boxes as deco so I did get one in gold one in hollow and then one in rose gold I don't think so. she had a silver option in her um, rose gold is more of like that coppery rose gold which is really pretty so really love these and they definitely will come in handy super super cute and I love the design idea on those then I did pick up just three of her regular sheets um she did have this little Harry Potter like reading studying kind of girl planner girl um oh it's, it's planner stuff so super cute I feel like you could use this for studying too but I thought that was adorable and then there is the game controller pink um, I feel like as Bennett gets older, I'm going to be sucked in more to playing like the Switch and all kinds of other weird stuff. So um, I don't really like playing video games. It's not my favorite thing. I feel like I get too anxious and then I'm like, why am I doing this? Um, but I figured I'd get these for the off chance that I need to play. And then I also got the social media icons, which are just the little YouTube buttons, which I thought were really cute and pink. She had a couple different options for the like social medias, but I just kind of 
wanted to get one, so I decided on the YouTube ones because they were pink. Then there was also a pip squeak for January. If you put like a code in in the notes, you got this freebie, which is super cute. So they have like little uh, things she drew with like her bow on them, which are just super cute. I'd love those like as foil icons. Those would be adorable. Like a little Amazon. That's so cute. I would buy a whole sheet of these like little bow laptops, especially if it was foiled. They're super cute. And then this is just a thank you freebie. It's kind of St. Patrick's Day green themed. And then I also did pick up two of her little charms. So they don't have like lobster clasps on anything. You could totally add it. You can go to the Hobby Lobby and get them for like a dollar for a bazillion of them. But I thought I would find something really cool to do with these. So there is a black and gold and then a pink and gold. So I'm super psyched. They came in these little baggies, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, so I will put them on something. You could even totally put one on here. Like, a little bow neck. This one would be real, real cute. So that's everything for this little portion of the haul. I think this one's going to be a long one. I don't know if, what order I'm going to put everything in. I've been trying to keep everything ambiguous as far as, like, the order. Just so I could kind of, like, slap the haul together and call it a day. And not have to worry about, like, what order everything was in. But this will probably be a little bit of a bigger haul, if you can't tell already. Just because I have my videos planned for a little bit. Um, and I don't, I don't put up hauls until, like, I need a video. And I'm like, oh, let's put up a haul. So... And that's this portion. So I have a world's smallest haul part that I wanted to show you guys. <clears throat> Two stick orders. And then I have a pin order. I don't actually remember if I put it in the haul. I might actually cut it out of the haul because I was real, real mad um, the last time I ordered from this shop. And this is a Grape Soda, Grape Soda Club. I ordered from them, I want to say like it's almost been a year since I ordered from them. And I, it was one of my top five most pissed I've ever been when ordering something. And I haven't ordered from them since, but I have had friends who've ordered who haven't had problems. So I was like, all right, well, I'll try ordering from them again. And this time I had no problem. I feel like I ordered these like last week and they came like this week, which the problem before was that like they just said they were shipped and it was like months and months and months it was like a Chris I think it was a Christmas pin last year that I ordered in November and I had bought one I think I might have bought one for Jessica or something too to like put another Christmas present or something I don't remember what it was but I had ordered it and the whole thing was that it was supposed to get to you by Christmas and it was like mid-January and they were just like not responding to emails and I had to like stalk them on Instagram to like get a hold of them but I didn't have any problems this time, so I ordered a couple of their pins. I saw them on the Explore page, and I was like, I'll give them a go. So I have got, I have one of these. It's actually, I mean, I, I might even have two of them. I'm not sure. Let me look at my pin board. I think I have one of these, and I think I got it from Patty from Planning Fancy. Possibly. I'm pretty sure I did. And it's the red polka dot one. But I loved this one. So it's one of the like kind of interactive pins, I guess. And it is a white with gold and pink, which is just obviously my life with the castle there. This is probably one of my favorite pins. It's just super cute. So that is adorable. And then this is the snacks spinner. So you could spin it. And I guess like the like the idea is, is that you could take this to the park and it could help you pick like what snack. Um, they also have this one here, which is a spinner one, which will help you pick which park to go to. Obviously, I wouldn't use either of them um, because I like to plan my life out. And fun fact, I'm actually a not a huge snack. I mean, you might not know, you might know that I'm not a big snacker. I would rather eat real food. Um, like, I don't like Dole Whip. Um, the Mickey ice cream bar, like... It's okay. I don't like caramel apples. Waffles are okay. Pretzels are probably, out of all of these, pretzels and popcorn are probably my favorite because they're more like savory, I guess. And then like churros. And then am I a bad Disney fan because I don't even know what that is. It looks like the same thing. I don't know. Somebody will correct me. But yeah, I'm not a huge snack person. I'd rather eat real food. But I think that snacks are super cute. So like I have a snack shirt. I have a snack pin. But I thought it was super cute. And then this one I got mostly for novelty purposes. And this is like, let me see how it works. So you like press this button or not sure. Let me open it up. And I like that the backers are like pink and hearts. It's definitely something that they paid extra for and they didn't have to. So that's cool. So I guess you're supposed to, I'm going to have to look up how this works because I thought you just have to press the button and it would work, but 
We will find out. Maybe there's something I'm not doing right. But the idea is, is you're supposed to like blast the gun. And it's supposed to like hit this and like light up red. Maybe it's lighting up red and it's not looking at it the right time. And I'll have to look up and see how that works. But I don't know if I had put that in the haul. I think I might have cut it out because normally whenever I get something, like you guys might be like, oh, Andre is never negative about any shops. That's because if I get an item in from a shop, whether, I mean, any, not, if it's something that I can return, like, this is, like, I feel like I might have been able to return, but it's also, like, a handmade item, so I'm like, eh, I don't know. Not handmade, but it's, like, a small shop. Like, if I get something from Shop Disney, I will return it if I don't like it or, you know, Target, but if it's something, like, if I order from a sticker shop and I don't like it, I just, I just chuck it or put it, I put it in my declutter pile, I don't talk about it. I just don't, it's not worth my time to share negativity, um, and I feel like it's never gotten me anywhere in the past, and a lot of people are like, well, why don't you just contact, because I've talked about how it's, like, annoying that I can't ever say anything, um, even, like, remotely negative, um, but, and so people are like, why don't you contact the shop and, like, have them make it right, and I just feel like sometimes that could be taken, like, completely the wrong way by the shop, and I just don't feel like dealing with it for, like, a couple bucks, I just won't order from them again, and I just declutter so I don't remember if I kept this in the haul but I mean maybe they changed their practices or maybe it was a one-off fluke but I'm happy with my order this time so I will usually give shops another shot unless it's just something super wild that I'm like what the heck um the next well actually I'll leave some for last because it's a new shop so I have an order in from Lorna Rose Cloudy. She wrote me a little I love you note on there. Super, super cute. So I did order this was a $2 Tuesday so I think she put in a lot of extras, so I'm going to put the extras aside first. I'm assuming this was like an order freebie, so she has these really cute little full box overlays. Super cute. I might put this with a purple wig log to see if it matches color-wise. Then I did order the whole bundle of her $2 Tuesday. Her $2 Tuesdays have been super cute. Did I order her $2 Tuesday? Did she have a two? I don't think she did. Um, so she has these pockets, so she's been doing, she did like a Celestia one, she did... I don't know what she's done, but I got the polka dot one, so you got clear pockets with gold, silver, rose, gold, and hollow, pink pockets with rose, gold, silver, gold, and hollow, and then these mini ones, which I'm going to be honest, I don't know what to do with them. You guys gave me a suggestion to put freebie samplers in, but I don't like carry those around, so I'm actually going to be sending these little ones to Allie of Allie's Corner because they fit her little ballette planner perfectly, so they're super cute, but just not functional for me, and then these are her washi cards, so it's really cool that like everything kind of goes together, and I feel like, you know, you could put them, you know, your all your gold polka dot stuff kind of together and like it coordinates and kind of pulls each other together um so and I think all of these have like a backing on them which you have to peel off but um yeah I just think these are super cute and for two dollars it is a really good deal in my opinion so um not two dollars for the whole thing but two dollars a piece which I feel like is a good deal so yeah they have like a little backing on them you just rip off to protect super cute so that is everything that I ordered from Lauren and then Lauren also did send me a couple of things here so it looks like she sent me some journaling cards they are super cute these were from her uh, winter TN setup so they have like this really cool it's like almost like a matte silver almost like a matte silver taupe kind of color and then there's a pink pocket with some roses on it there is a washi card with some bows maybe this is a sneak to a future Taylor Tuesday Another washi card with bows, another washi card with bows, a washi card that says washi on top, which I actually love this, I think it's super cute, in rose gold. And then she sent me some of these, which are, it looks like a Happy Scrappy and Rose Color Days and Annie Plans printable collab. So these are some really cute little foiled freebies, it looks like. So this one is in hollow. And then this one is in like a sparkly hollow. Is there a difference in these two hollows? These might be the same kind of hollow. A, might be like a gold hollow and then a rose gold. So super, super cute. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so that's everything from Lauren of Rose Color Days. And then last but not least, I did, well, this actually isn't a new shop to me, but, um, this is a, sh this is an order from Letters to Apollo, and I had ordered from her in the past, and like, I've, I think I mentioned in this haul, if not, I'll be mentioning it a little later in the haul, but I 
do not love foiled stickers on like a white background. I prefer my foiled stickers on a clear background. So whenever she decided to switch her stickers to a clear background, I was like, oh my god, yes, please, yes, please, and place an extra large order. And she did give me a discount share with you guys, 10% off with SPC 10, which was super, super generous. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I, let me see. She might have threw some extra ones in here maybe. I'm not sure. I feel like there's a lot here. Well, maybe not. So I have no idea. TBH, you guys always know. I have no idea what I order. So I did actually use a couple of these in my um, plan with me for this week. So that's why a couple of them are missing. It's for this plan with me here. So cute. So this is her design sticker, which I love how like chunky and thick the lettering is in this one. And I love, um, I love everything about it. And the foiling is really nice. There isn't like any or very few little black dots throughout, which I know is kind of like normal with like at home foiling. So it doesn't bother me. If it was like crazy, I'd be like, ugh. but this is like not really noticeable at all. Um, so then there is day off. There's these huge ones. I don't really know what I would do with maybe put in like a half box, but they are massive um there's some even bigger ones they're cute i don't know unless i just have nothing else to put in which sometimes does happen but these are super cute as well and i got most of these in all three foils and there's doctor's appointment which is cute this one i think like makes sense to put in a half box and then there are smaller ones which you put like a little character sticker next to and then there is nail appointment which again like this one's huge i wouldn't ever like mark up that much time I think for a nail pin but again you never know you could also probably use it like in the monthly if you don't have anything else going on that day but I much prefer these like smaller ones because you can put like a little character sticker next to it I love these ones bath these fit super cute in a half box I have one down here with like a little sticker next to it this is a little bit thinner of a font but I think it looks super cute then there is this nap queen one which is the perfect size in my opinion super cute Starbucks, which I ordered a ton of prior to me um, quitting Starbucks, but I'm, I think, you know, in the future, I'll probably incorporate it in once I get to, like, where I want to be um, and look kind of, like, pace it out a little bit. Uh, this, again, is in, like, the little bit of a thinner font, but I think it's super cute, and I was curious about, like, the width of this, and you could still, for sure, put, like, a little Starbucks sticker next to it. I don't know if you guys can see through what it would look like but that's on like a skinny um, appointment label so that is the Starbucks sticker which is super cute um, I might actually just keep one sheet of these and then maybe send the other sheets to Jessica because Jessica can for sure use those and then these work stickers which are super cute again these are a little bit big but I think will be cute um, and anything bigger than a quarter box so sometimes I don't have a lot to plan so it'll work out then I have the F today and I think this will work out pretty, pretty, pretty well for me. I, I feel like it happens often. And then I like these ones. A little shopping won't hurt anyone for those days where you just go to the mall and just go crazy. And then the hair appointment ones, which again, the top ones are a little big, but you know, I'll figure it out. The hair appointment ones I do take up, hair does take up a bit of time, so... I feel like that could work. So that is everything that I got from the letters to Apollo. And I'm super excited about my order. I can't wait till she puts out some new releases. I love her scripts. She has a really unique selection. Like not like super unique. Like you know a lot of people have like day off. But I feel like a lot of these like are some that I don't have like any of. Like this one. This one. Um, the design one I don't have a ton of. Or I don't even know if I have any. But I just like her selection. Some of them are really funny. So they're super cute. The foiling is really good. And I love that they are on um, clear paper now. So super cute. And she is doing like TLR Tuesdays and stuff. So definitely follow her. And like I said, I do have a 10% off discount code, which is SPC10. Super easy to remember. SPC10. Scroll Prince Code 10. SPC10. That's me. So that's everything for this little portion of the haul. Welcome to haul part 752. So I have some orders here today. I have an order in from Sadie Stickers. I have an order in from Rose Colored Days. I have an order in from Toffee Bananas. I have an order in from Hello Petite Paper. And then I also have an order in from the Glam Planner. I'll go ahead and do smallest to littlest. I feel like I do that sometimes. So this is the Hello Petite Paper. I'm assuming this was a leftover paper from one of her TN kits, probably a fall related one. I actually just placed a Hello Petite Paper order two days ago. She has like a new kit. I think it's called My Favorite Things or something like that. And it is super cute. So you have her little packaging here. It has the little 
um, logo seal and then it's like a little gold um, cello with bows on it which is really cute and she had this which I believe these are on yeah they're on or these are they're glossy so this is the freebie here so it's a little bow card which is actually really really cute I like all of her little like cards they're adorable and then this is a little freebie and this is on her matte paper which is really cute and then these are all I believe on glossy and these are just kind of various kind of functional type deco items so this is which I wonder if these are actually gonna fit into my character sticker storage yes they should fit so this is the little read sheet it's read time multicolor so I thought this was really really sweet and cute and then this is the nail time and I feel like all these colors are pretty usable on all the sheets study time which I thought would be super cute just kind of for reading and then for just the little laptops another one of those mostly for another set of the laptops and then I got this which is a manicure time which is kind of like a big sticker to put in I don't really get my nails done that much anymore but I'm assuming sometime in the future I probably will so I figured I would just pick one of those up I don't have a lot of stickers in my nail section of my um of my planner of my I guess of my um organization sorry I'm like reading texts and like talking at the same time but this is my toffee bananas order these are some kind of like couple stickers these are kind of like new releases I guess she did go ahead and change her brown haired girl to a little bit more of a um a cool tone brown I guess because her old one was like really red actually and I love this brown and I'm kind of like bummed that I have my whole collection in the other color brown one so I'm just gonna wait till I use them all up and then probably just repurchase the sheets in this color brown hair um, but let's go ahead and go through these so there are some freebies on top which she always puts like these are massive freebies they're the same size as the sheets that you buy so I have a ton of these which are just cute little pink samplers and then this one is kind of like a spring she kind of changes up this one um on there and then there is this one which is new which was swimming which that would be really really cute camping probably won't use this very often but i have it date night cuddles donut floaty which you can use for swimming and then together which is just another couple stickers super cute and again i love the hair color change I have an order in from Lauren of Rose Color Days. This was a random order. Oh my gosh, she put a lot of freebies in there. This was a random order, but um, holy, what? Girl put like all the freebies in here. Okay, hold on. So, oh. Dem's new. Ooh. Okay, so I'll show you guys what I bought first, and then I'll show you what she put in here okay so you guys know i love jesenia and i found that these fit my monthly in my a6 perfectly so i wanted to go ahead and pick up some more so i did get the hollow the gold and then i got this like hollow sparkle i think it was called or something like that i thought it'd be something different and then i also got silver so thought these were really cute and you can use them for a lot of different things not just the a6 monthly of course um, then I ordered these, which are another thing from Jessenia the Planner Sophisticate. These are just like little swooshes. They're probably going to kind of go in my deco section to kind of put deco on boxes that are a little bit more boring or in like half boxes, put a little swoosh underneath something, make it a little bit prettier. So I did get two in gold, two in silver, and one in rose gold. I think these had been sold out before, so I was really excited when I logged on randomly and saw those. I think it was after my last haul. I was like, let's see what's new. And then I got these in like the hollow sparkle. I don't know if I couldn't find the hollow one, so I just bought those ones, but it works. Then all of the extras in here, Lauren threw in a bunch of extras. We are pals. She's my big sister. I love her. Um, I'm sad I'm not with her this weekend. This weekend is the weekend when you're watching this. I'm filming this during the weekend of Chicago Planner Conference. Um, her and Kane sat at my table, which was super cute. So there was a journaling card that says you are enough in silver, which is super cute. And then she threw in all of these extras. So these are like usually at one of these in every order. And she just put a ton in my order. So it looks like she gave me two of the like more champagne gold, a red one, a kind of like a matte pastel green, a hollow gold, a blue, a kind of like purple sparkle, silver, 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 and then a kind of like gold hollowy color. So super cute. 
And then she also threw in the Moonstruck 2.0 Two Little Bees sampler, which is really cute, in hollow, which I could definitely use this with other kits. Um, super cute. So that's in hollow. And then this one is in like a hollow sparkle. And then she also threw in these Hobonichi holidays, which would be super cute just to put um, in my monthly if I want to put in a holiday really tiny or even in the... Um, in the actual Erin Condren, you could put like an icon next to it. It doesn't fill up like a whole box. These are super, super cute. So definitely be using those. So thank you again, Lauren. You are the best. Then I have an order in from the Glam Planner. I did order two of the Disney kits. So obviously I'm not going to open all of them. So I didn't use this art, but whenever I saw that Elle used it, I was like, need to purchase a million because I love the way that she put it together. Um, super cute. So you do get the little freebie here, which is just like a little glam planner freebie. Usually I declutter those because I don't really mark those new releases. I only mark my own. Um, then there is the double box, which is the castle, which is super pretty. You get, I think whenever you do the pre-order, you get the double box and the glitter sampler for free or something like that. But how cute did this turn out? I love it. I love the way that Elle did it. She has a ton of glitter throughout, and I love the colors that she picked. You have some extra full boxes here, which are always nice. Again, I love these colors. Some deco, some washi, and the bottom washi. The bottom washi isn't my favorite, but I'm sure I could find something else to pull in. I'll pull in, like, a bow, and then I'll bring in, like, a 15 millimeter washi strip home. I'm sure I have a pink that matches. We have a lot of pinks in the shop right now. So that is her, like, Disney World kit. I did pick up some extras to go along with it. Since I bought three of them, I've just bought, <clears throat> here's a little bop rewards. Let's usually I just toss those two because I can't keep up with rewards programs. So I did pick up the fashion girls. I didn't pick up three of them just because I figured I could use like one per spread and then just use somebody else for the other one. Um, kind of switch it up. Um, maybe I could do like one for me, one for Jessica or something. I don't know, but I thought those were really cute. So I bought those. Um, then I bought this kit, which I don't know if I'm going to New Orleans anytime soon, but I thought if I did, this kit would be super cute. So I think this is custom art. So you have your glitter headers, you have the extra full boxes. I think this one didn't come with a double box, so you just got these as an extra, which is totally fine. So you have like the different skin tones and you have an extra double box, which is really, really cute. And you have, um... Those are really cute. Very like New Orleans colors. Is it New Orleans or New Orleans? I don't even know. So that is that kit there. I'll probably just be hoarding this for a really long time. But when the opportunity strikes me, because I really would love to go back, there's so many good places to eat. And y'all know I like to eat. So that is that. And then she did come out with this as well, which was super cute. Um, I don't think I'm doing a... Um, St. Patrick's Day kit this year just because I think that there's something going on the same week as St. Patrick's Day. Maybe it's like the Jane the Virgin release. I don't know. Or maybe it was the week that I'm going to the rodeo and I have a kit for that. But this is super cute. If I do have a spot available, I probably will use this one. I picked up a couple other St. Patrick's Day kits, but honestly, I thought this one was kind of really cute with like the pastel balloon arch. So, and the probably the flapjacks are probably adorable too. So you have the double box, you have the glitter headers if you purchase during the pre-order. You have the rainbow in the background, super cute, extra full boxes here, super cute colors. I feel like the color choices on all of these were pretty on point. I even really like the bottom washi, which was super cute. So I'm going to have to kind of look at my kits and see if I can fit this in. If not, I will be hoarding it for sure. Um, then last but not least, I do have an order in from Sadie Stickers. I was debating on using this kit like in an upcoming week, but then I realized it's rose gold. Which is cute and all, but I'm just not like the world's biggest fan of rose gold. But I'll probably hoard this forever. I just thought it was a really sweet, beautiful kit. So it is a photo kit, which I love. I ordered, I think, both. I think I ordered both of her new releases that were photo kits. At least I ordered, I know I ordered for sure the beach one, which was super pretty. Very unique take on the beach because it was very neutral. But I loved this, so I picked it up. I didn't realize it was rose gold, but it, even if I wouldn't have known, if I would have known it was rose gold, I still would have picked it up. Just because I think it's super, super pretty. So that is the XOXO kit, which is super, super sweet. I didn't order this whenever it was like a new release. So if you would have ordered this with the new release, it would have came in time for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is only two days ago, and I ordered it with $2 Tuesdays, which I'm kind of embarrassed this week of how many $2 Tuesdays I bought. 
I kind of feel like a dum-dum because she did release the next week like a sampler sheet and I'm kind of all for icon sampler sheets that's why I did them the way I did them in my shop just because all these individual sheets are going to be a butt to organize but I'm thinking about maybe trying to find a like an organizer just for these little mini icon sheets but I don't know how that's going to work out but if any of you guys have any ideas feel free feel free to let me know because this is going to get a little intense. So she did come out last $2 Tuesday, which for you guys is going to be like in a million $2 Tuesdays ago. She came out with a sampler of these. So I'm sure she'll bring it back in the future or bring back the individual sheets because I'm sure they took a while to design these little icons. But what is wrong with me? I don't even understand. Like, ready? I have a Sadie Stickers obsession. She comes out with so much new stuff. I just love everything. I don't even know how I want to go through these, but I think I ordered like one of everything and then I ordered multiples of some things. I'm sure filling my order was a pain in the butt. If I, if this was like an order and Emily had to fill it, she'd probably be like, Andrea, what is going on? But I just couldn't. So I have some gold laundry, silver laundry, rose gold laundry. I have, you know, laptops. I'm just going to like skip ahead. But if you guys have like these and you know the sizing oh anyway so she put these out for two dollar tuesday as individual listings which probably took forever to print and cut these because i'm sure they were super popular um and she released like a gazillion of them uh, facebook here i don't even know what i need those for but you know and target i think i ordered a gazillion extra so i think i ordered two of everything and then i went back in and ordered extras which you'll probably see at the end so i have some stethoscopes I have some shopping bags, oh my gosh, running shoes. Um, so she came out with these individual icons and then she came out with the next week, she came out with like a little sampler sheet, which I would have just probably ordered like, I don't know, 20 of each of the sampler sheets and then just kind of like did what I do with my icons and keep them together but separate, you know? Um, but... Now I have a gazillion, but I'm sure I'll use these through time. And I did order some of the sampler sheets too. <laughs> I don't know why. Bathtub. Could use this card this week. It's super cute. And they all have bows on them, which I mean like YouTube, wine glass. I don't even know why I have wine glasses because girl doesn't drink. I can use them for, I don't know, maybe one day I'll start to drink. Probably not. A kettlebell. I don't know. I guess I could use it for going to the gym. Some fork and knife. Some TVs. Some credit cards, some coffees, which I don't even drink coffee, but you know, I might send some of these to a friend because alarm clocks, squirt bottles, groceries. I think these are the extra ones I bought. So I bought two extra of the TVs. I bought a bunch of the Target ones because these are so dang cute. Go to Target like four times a week at least. If I don't, someone call somebody laptops which are super cute houses houses house some of the shopping carts more of the phones or no those might have been my regular phone order got some of the doggy little paws which will come in handy um a nail polish bottle i think nail polish bottle bunch of envelopes or yeah envelopes suitcases and that is everything. I hope I was in frame. If I wasn't, that's so many stickers. Why? I don't know. Y'all don't judge me, but if you have an organization that for this, let me know. But they're so beautiful and cute, and I love Sadie's stickers. Follow her for $2 Tuesdays. They're amazing. And usually if she has a new release, I just order it with the $2 Tuesdays because there's a 100% chance I'm ordering for $2 Tuesday. I think at one point I had like five outstanding orders just because I order so much, but... That's everything for this portion. Hey guys, it is Andrea, and this is the, the beginning or the end of the haul. I don't even really know, um, but I have quite a few haul bits, but I think that this will be my concluding bit, so maybe this is the end of the haul, I don't know. But I have quite a few orders. I have an order in from Shop Villa Beautiful. I have an order in from the Glam Planner. I have some stickers from Scroll Prints Co., which is my shop, which I will get into. Fox and Cactus order, a, um, one hundred a million order, a simply gilded order, and then also a Pele Studio order, and then also I have this notebook. This notebook is from Karst Stone Paper. I have been using my Erin Condren to kind of like 
just write down some stuff in. I feel like if you guys have been following me, I have been going through some interesting things and I've been kind of keeping a like log in my Erin Condren, but some days I don't want to write anything and then it looks weird. I feel like to have like one week like have stuff at all down the day and then you know other days I don't want to write anything. Um, so I just got this um, book. It is made out of like, I think it's like stone paper. So it's like tear resistant, waterproof. I just looked up like a notebook and this was like one of the ones that came up. Um, but it came pretty quickly. It has like the NARS matte feeling outside cover. Um, and I just wanted something to write stuff down in rather than writing it in my second Erin Condren. Um, so yeah, I got that. And then the next order that I have is from Peles studio and I am super excited about this well I'm excited about it but yeah we'll talk about it so this is the planner which is so pretty so she also sent me a, a fountain pen which this is a plazer platinum and this is just like one of those fancy pens with like a nib which everyone has but me um, and it's purple, which is super pretty. So thank you for sending me that. And also there was a little bag here. I don't know if everyone gets this or she threw it in my order. But it looks like it has a little thank you so much card and some extra little strings. So I'm actually not keeping this planner. I think I'm going to be giving it to Jasenia because Jasenia actually gave me a A6 Pele Studio rings because that wasn't like her size. And when I ordered this, I was like, I'm gonna use a B6 rings. It's gonna be my thing. Um, it's such a beautiful planner. I actually already ordered the A6 version of it, um, but I'm actually going to be passing this on to Jasenia and she can use it or do whatever she wants with it. Um, because like I said, she did gift me an A6 in the past. So I was like, girl, this is your size. Um, I think she uses personal wide, but she could, she could use a B6, but how pretty is this? It is a pink outer area. I don't know all the names of everything. There's just too many names and colors of spines and stuff, but I did get the mermaid glitter spine and the mermaid inside pockets. These are so pretty. Like you don't even have to decorate these, but if you put like one thing in here, it's like bam. But Jessica was actually saying, which I think would be a really cool idea is doing just a full glitter planner with a pink spine. That would be beautiful. I don't see why it wouldn't be able to like happen because if you're using it for this, the outside, tell me, would that not be the prettiest thing? Or even like um, a white spine with this being like the main color. Come on, let's do it. And then the inside is this really pretty rose gold kind of color, like a pinky metallic. And then you have the rings which are super easy to take in and out. So that is my Pele Studio order. And like I said, I probably will be giving it to Jasenia because she gifted me my A6 Pele Studio rings. So that is that. She'll be traveling with me to San Francisco because that is when I will see Jasenia next. Um, the next thing I have is my Simply Gilded box. I haven't seen anyone haul this one yet. I watched a bunch of hauls recently that had the lucky one, the like green one, which was by far my favorite box. I haven't really seen a ton of what this is in this box. But I wasn't like super interested because it is rose gold. So I do know we're passing probably a lot of this stuff on. Um, because I live for the silver, the hollow, and the champagne boxes. So I'll kind of go over what I'm keeping and what I am not keeping. So this is the little um, journaling card. So it says each day you can admire the moon, the snow, the flowers. Japanese proverb, which is pretty cute. I probably will keep that. I'm probably going to throw the box away which I did. Um, a jelly roll, which I'll probably give this to Jessica because Jessica does use jelly roll pens. Um, it looks like a pink sparkle one probably, but I'll give that to Jessica. Then there is a pink and rose gold pen, which I'll probably give this to Emily. It is a gel pen. Emily is my rose gold lover in my life, so she definitely gets all of my rose gold stuff. Then there is the sticker kit, which is really pretty, like very like faint colors. I like the double box. Um, but she has mentioned that she is changing the paper, so I'm really curious to see kind of how that works out. But she did end up putting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes, which is totally awesome. Um, definitely on the right track. I'm just hoping for less headers and more like functional items maybe, but super cute. Uh, but I will be passing this on. I usually um, put these in my Bennett sticker pile. I've mentioned a couple of times. I have like a bunch of different declutter piles. I have like, I give specific things to specific people. And then I have a declutter pile that I'm actually going to be bringing to this Girl Prince Co. planner party, which is probably going to be like 
you know those big totes that you store stuff in your like um I guess they're like I don't know what they're called they're like the big ones you store stuff in like in your garage I'll probably have like two or three of those worth that I'll be bringing to the planner party so there's that declutter pile and then I have a Bennett declutter pile so anything that's like really like not cute but like good quality stuff that like I think he'll have fun playing with like these thicker stickers I'm sure he'll really love these so I'm going to put these in the Bennett pile then there are the what is something here there is a notebook which I probably will pass on I don't I'll see if Emily wants this and then there is the really cute shaker pouch which again does have the rose gold so I probably will pass this on to Emily as well. I have so many pouches, guys, and I have a bunch in Bennett's as well. Um, also with my washi, this one's pretty. So also with my washi, I am doing a little video that is like a washi declutter kind of, um, and I go through my washi and declutter it, I guess. I had decluttered my washi recently, like prior to that, and I got rid of all of my um, 10 millimeter bows, and this time I kind of went through and decluttered a little bit more um and that's what the video is going to be on and what i did with those washies is anything that was opened i put in my declutter pile so again i'll be bringing that to this girlfriend's co planner party to have like a de-stash table and then anything that is closed i will be giving away as like a raffle prize i have like these um bins of washi that i decluttered from that video as well as um, just to decluttered washi in the past that aren't open and I'll be adding some of our washi in there as well and doing a giveaway of those since they aren't open. So I probably will be gift putting the, these two in that pile. So this is the 10 millimeter rose gold with white bows and then this is a kind of like, what is it, the Sakura? Sakura flower really pretty but uh, probably won't use those I probably will be saving these so you have the more pinky rose gold which is my preference of rose gold I love this bow design I think it was ingenious when she did the champagne gold with the bow I just think it's so pretty and then I'm keeping this one too this one's super pretty it does have the more it looks like more of the coppery I don't know actually it's kind of hard to tell actually it might be more this one no it looks more coppery it's the more coppery rose gold but because it there's it's such like a little fleck I feel like it could go with just like the pinkier rose gold and it's like a really pretty white with like really light flowers I love this I love like very simplistic designs that I can kind of pull in to my monthlies which I feel like this would be beautiful in a monthly or into my hobonichi whenever I get it you know I have big plans and then there are the little five millimeters which I don't I didn't keep all of my um five millimeter rose gold ones but these are really pretty muted colors they are the more coppery rose gold in comparison to this one being more pink um, i kind of wish they were more on the pink side but i still will definitely get a ton of use of those if i'm using somebody else's rose gold so like i said i will probably pass on um these items but they will go to great homes um but i will always be subscribed to simply gilded Subbox just because i love i love the mystery Speaking of mysteries, I do have the Glam Planner subscription. I normally do most always, unless I forget to ask. Um, I know what the mystery is going to be before it is shipped out because I just be like, hey, Elle, what, please spoil this mystery for me. So this mystery kit is the February 2018 mystery. Um, she sent me this and I was like, oh, that's really cute. I like the dark colors. I love, I love, love, love the dark colors in this kit. So she did do an unboxing of this too which I did watch when I was at the gym and I was like this is real cute so this is a kind of like Peter Pan Neverland Neverland is that a thing Neverland inspired theme and I'm probably going to save this for something Bennett related I think like if we watch Peter Pan or I don't know like what what else could we want use this for I need a really good excuse there's lots of Peter Pan movies though so really love the darker colors of this kit I love the little double box scene it does kind of like match the big box I'd probably use one or the other um then there is the half boxes and stuff a bunch of deck uh, not deco um is there deco a bunch of scripts I don't think this one has deco That'll be interesting, but I'm sure I can pull in some foil bits. There's also the double box when you're subscribed to the Ultimate. You also get the glitter sampler. You get some extra boxes, which are really cool. I like whenever she does the extra boxes. I ordered a kit recently because it came with the extra boxes. I didn't like like two of the boxes in the kit, but then I saw it came with extra ones, and I'm like, oh, 
I would have bought this before if I knew that. So extra boxes, which definitely can extend your kit. And then also some um, foil overlays. So these will go over the boxes um, and they are super cute. So you have two different um, quotes from the movies and then the little stars, which are super cute as well. So that is the Glam Planner Mystery Subscription. Um, then I brought home some stuff from our shop, which I normally don't show what I bring home because most of the time it's foil and it's not released or washing is not released. And then kits, I bring them home the week that the kit is being released. So I actually went ahead and had Emily print me because I'm doing like the no white space look. I wanted to have some extra half box. I actually should have told her not to print the glitter ones because... I don't know. I'm not like huge fan of glitter multicolor just because I like the solid ones better. But I had her print me the um, pink, fall, and winter color schemes of those as well as the labels for um, those and then some of the older ones she actually printed me, which I didn't think that she would go back this far, but girl is an overachiever so she printed me some of these ones as well these are like in the old format so she probably had to like hand cut these which is hilarious so i did bring home a bunch of those to kind of add to my multicolor collection just for whenever i plan normally i have enough stickers it's just every once in a while i'm like oh dang i could have used one more half box do you know what i mean so then let's go in to my fox and cactus order which is fox and cactus order Oh, it's so cute. She uh, did the, um, this is so cute. I actually stole this idea from her. I mentioned it a couple of times, the little rack bags. Um, so this is just kind of like a random act of kindness. So she usually just throws in some extra sheets that she has. Um, I normally do it with like misfits. We had so many misfits and I want to get through, well, we did get through like all, everything's bundled up um, for either being in a grab bag or being in a rack. Um, but it's a nice way to, for me to get rid of those and put, give them to a good home. So really love that idea. Thanks, Emma and Tom. Y'all, y'all fab. Um, so she threw these in there. So we get some extra laptop ones in the like Daisy medium skin tone, which is the one I prefer. I probably would more associate with this one. I mean, even though like, I mean, I feel like I'm more this color, but at the same time, like, everyone would probably be like, this is me, but the, these girls wear, like, hot pink, and what's the other color? And the other one has black hair, so the brown hair one wears hot pink, but the medium skin tone one wears white in her regular girls, so I always go for the medium skin tone one, so I'm actually going to give the light skin tone one to Emily because she loves these, like, crazy colored hair girls, and this is cotton candy, so it's definitely different than the pastel hair girls. I'm actually going to give y'all a little comparison because I'm pretty sure I have some right here. Actually, I have a lot of different, different versions here, so if you can see, actually, here are Daisy. So Daisy wears white, which I really like because she matches everything. Um, and then here are her like polka dot pastel hair girls and then actually I only have one sheet left of those and then this is all I have left of the pastel hair girls so you can see the difference the pastel hair girls have like a little bit more like coloration there's a little bit of yellow in there a little bit lighter but the cotton candy hair girls are pink to blue and that's it I mean the purple is definitely in there because of the ombre but it is for sure a different variation, so obviously I needed to purchase more because I couldn't not have this variation. So she sent me these two in a random act of kindness bag. And then in my actual order, I had a little freebie, which is super cute. I love this little pig with the bow and the little old AF cat, which I actually did order some. I hate cats, like, a lot, but I thought this was really cute. And for, like, Brian and Kirsten, because they like cats, or Ryan, anyone who likes cats, I'll definitely use that for their birthday, and also because it's hilarious. And then she wrote, Andrea, enjoy, lovey. So cute, so cute, so cute. Let's see that there. Um, there was a little journaling card, which says, my precious, with a raven and a ring. And, well, the ring, obviously. Then I did pick up two of the Anxiety Girls, which I feel like I use these a lot. Not, like, in always anxiety, but just, like, when I'm sad, you know, or just not feeling well. And then I got these meh girls. I got two of those. So I actually use these a ton. Um, I feel like they just kind of, this is my face pretty much almost always. I think everyone who knows me personally can attest. I actually never noticed that they never have, they don't have noses, but it's really, really cute. Um, I actually was thinking, um, the other day that it'd be cute to do, like, a whole, like, Instagram series of, like, reenacting character stickers. Like, Emily could totally do this and reenact it and then, like, 
you know, it'd be like a side by side thing. I think it's a good idea. So this is the fast food ones, which just reminds me of Emily. And there are the reading ones, which I don't really read, but you know, maybe one day. And then these are the birthday ones, which are so sweet. These actually remind me of Avery. And then more of the laptop ones, which I do go through a lot of the laptop ones, just because I think they're extra, extra cute. So I love them a lot. And then last, no. I did get an order in from Shop Villa Beautiful. She did do a collab with the Fox and Pip for this pen. It's just a pink and black pen, but I was in love. It actually sold out the first time. I really love Shop Villa Beautiful's pens. One of my pens I use almost all the time for note taking is one of her pens, but this was like a Fox and Pip collab. It sold out pretty quickly. And then she did like a last kind of chances and I saw somebody post about it and I was like, yes, I'm gonna get it. So I love the black and the pink together. I just think it's really pretty. It's kind of like a little bit of a cooler tone pink, but I'm just like in love. And it does come with an extra ink refill, which I think is awesome. The one that's in there is also gel ink, which is A+. Plus. And then last but not least, I do have an order in from Wonton in a Million. She wasn't doing any new releases, um, but I wanted to pick up some stuff here. I picked up this really cute card. Um, she did change this up, which is super cute. It's very pastel and beautiful. I think I might actually save this because this looks real pretty. I think before it was like very like her branding colors, like the yellow and stuff like that. But this is hella cute. Um, oh, cool. You didn't see my, you didn't see my address or nothing on there. I'll have to make sure I watch that. But um, I did get some notepads. So I did get, I don't even know. I was just honestly like some, I, I've been ordering a lot. I've been like kind of real stressed, you know? Um, and I've been just like placing random orders, but I never got these and they were on sale. So this is Sui's Naughty List and Steamy's Nice List. Let me see if I'll just a smidge. Um, and then I got these, which are notepads as well. So this is the Simply Gilded collab. I got two of those. And then this one is the Crazy Rich Jumplings one. And then this is her like newer one, which has like the steam team on top, which is super, super cute. But I've been using post-it notes a lot. And actually it was funny. I was like looking for ones on Amazon just because I was going to buy like post-it ones. But I was like, why not support um, a small business and buy some from my friend? Then I placed an order for these because I didn't order them because I was like, what am I going to use red foil? But I was like, hey, I have wiggles that are red that I could use some character stickers. So I'm going to put these in with my red wiggles. Um, I could totally pull this in with the rainbow wiggles. So I picked those up. Um, then I picked up these, the fighting ones. I didn't think I'd use these as much, but, you know, in a relationship things happen. So you fight a little bit and... I don't really fight with anyone else, like, worth marking, so there's that. Then the bride tribe, because I am going to Marg's wedding, and I'm sure there's going to be other people in my life who get married, maybe, I don't know, Jessica, is it going to happen one day? We don't know, we don't know. Jessica will laugh, no one else will. And then I got the Fantastic Beast one, because I thought it was really cute. I don't really get the movies, I don't really care about them, I watch them because I'm a Harry Potter fan. I think like cinematically they're really pretty but honestly I don't get them but whenever it comes around I will want a sticker to mark it. I got the buns in the sun that kind of go along with the Hawaii trip because I really want to go to Hawaii this year. I'm thinking about making it kind of like a girl's trip um, but I just love Hawaii. I think it's really pretty so I got the buns in the sun along with the Aloha Hawaii one which is just super pretty and super festive. I also did get the San Francisco bucket list. I am going to San Francisco next weekend and I have this in her regular paper but I wanted to pick up one of the new ones as well. The sticker shop one just because I thought it was really really cute. I don't do a lot of like silhouetting. I actually hate silhouettes. I don't do very much printing um, but I could use them for other things. I like how it has the registration marks on there. Then I got this one because I have been going to the gym and I thought this would be really, really cute um, to mark kind of going to the gym. I just thought it was adorable. And there's lots of cute colors on here. And then there my camera died, but I did. And it was annoying because I had two more things left. Um, and I feel like when I see the little red, red guy right here, he's like right here, he's red. Um, I'm like, I rush, so I could have like took my time if I knew I was going to have to take a break anyways, but anyways, football, so I don't really watch football more than once a year, but whenever I watch it, I want to have a sticker for it. I kind of wish they were these colors, um, but I guess like football colors are usually more like bright, 
primary color so these will work and then last but not least i did get one of these pockets they were on low stock so i was like might as well so um this is the little pocket and it says you are magical in hollow and it has a little unicorn which i thought was really sweet would match a lot of my hollow setups i actually just realized this probably won't fit in my a6 but I can put it somewhere else. It's super cute. So that's everything that I got from Wonton in a Million. I think she's actually doing a new, well by this time she by the time you see this she will have had a new release quite recently so definitely go check out her shop. Um, she usually does sell a lot of things super fast which is nice so you have a little bit more time to browse around and a lot of things that I will mention here um, are still going to be in stock. Um, so that's my Wonton a Million order and then um, like I said I did get the Fox and Cactus order. I got the Glam Planner Mystery and the Simply Gilded box. Is that everything? Oh and then the Villa Beautiful pen and the um, Pele Studio Planner. So I hope you guys like this haul. It's gonna be a long one. Um, and then I'm just gonna start collecting more haul bits and I'll be back with another haul in a couple of weeks. So I'll talk to you later, bye.